Honey, my spirit guides told me many moons ago that only pretty people wouldn't choose to subscribe to me, and so far, I haven't been wrong. Howdy, girl. Hello, my beautiful Pisces. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading, so if you have any tarot messages that resonate with you in this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which tarot cards do and how they do, because that's how I keep up with you guys is through the comments, of course, Pisces. As well, if you do enjoy this reading or you just enjoy my vibe, Pisces, I would really appreciate it if you already give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot, and I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me. Also, remember, Pisces, before we get into this weekly messages today, uh, I'm not here to make a decision in your life. From perspective, just man reading some tarot cards to you. Use your intuition because I'm not here to make that choice in your life. I'm not here to tell you what that other person is thinking, right? My tarot readings are just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective to consider as you go throughout your life making the, the decisions for your life. But uh, I feel like you get the point now, Pisces. Uh, so let's just get into your weekly messages today. I pulled some cards for you, Pisces, just so I could see a general idea of where it is you guys are currently at. And overall, Pisces, I'm seeing, I'm seeing really good uh, intentions on wanting to go forward. It seems to be, Pisces, a lot of you guys have identified where it is you want to put your energy into or you've identified being like, you know what, I want to do this for a living here, right? It's, some of you Pisces have really honed in on that, either that or you're in this process of trying to find it. Regardless, I see that's where the energy of things or the intention of things are going for you. So let me show you these cards, right? And then I'll break it down for you later, Pisces. We have the Two of Fire or the Two of Wands in normal tarot. We have as well the Knight of Air or the Knight of Swords with the star card Archangel Jophiel number 17 equaling to 8. So uh, look up the number 8 Pisces to see how the messages of like for numerology uh, see how it resonates with you for this week as well and how it correlates potentially with this reading. And then we have the Ace of Air or the Ace of Swords. So you'll notice with all these air cards, that's usually the symbolization or the sword cards as well. You get the point. Uh, it's usually the symbolization, uh, Pisces, of where it's like you're just, it's usually doing things with like the mental, right? And so, yeah, I just see like the intention. Like, I don't know if that's really taking necessarily too much action towards it, but um quite yeah but we'll see with the clarifiers but let's see how the storyline wants to go i feel like but where does this guy go i know y'all can't see where i'm placing these cards pisces and i guess it doesn't really matter from your perspective where i'm placing it but i kind of see tarot as like a puzzle and this is like this guy here it's like this corner piece essentially it's like i don't know which side this corner piece goes to we're going to continue it. We're going to start with it first, I feel like, actually. So let's break into this Two of Fire for you. This is this card says you've come into your own new partnerships or contracts. Continue moving forward, right? So the Two of Wands is a card of um, needing to make movement, right? It's the situation of where it's really kind of encouraging you to go forward with something. Um, you know, it's, it's you like you, you can't really play the fence anymore. Essentially, Pisces with something you gotta you kind of have to pick a side and commit to it at this point. So we're gonna see what extra cards we can get with this. Mm. So, oh, okay, I see where your issue is, Pisces. So you guys need to like you guys have been sitting on the fence, uh, not really sure what to do with the situation in regards to. You know, this could be, if it's in regards to a person, it's definitely in regards to, like, putting distance between you and this person, right? Um, or if it's not, it's kind of, like, neat, like, really up in the air about, regardless of what it is, Pisces, it's, like, you 
debating whether or not to make a decision to put distance between you and that. So it could be like quitting a job or something like that, where it's a little bit more like a, you have to kind of like be the one to like cut the uh, tie, it feels. Um, because when you have the devil card coming in uh, with the nine of swords and then the five of cups here, it's such a situation of where the devil is like whatever that negative thing is for you, whether that's a person, whether that's a habit, whatever. This thing here is uh, what is the thing that you're really, the deciding factor, the other energy, right, that you have your mind on. And it's because you're in this place of not being sure what to do with it, you're in this Nine of Swords, right? You're really in your head about it. The Nine of Swords is a card of sleepless nights, Pisces, and, you know, you're just always just like up at night just be like i don't know what to do i don't know where they're at whatever right and then you have this five of cups here right and this lets kind of me know pisces that you know what to do in this situation because notice that there's five these five cups there's some of these cups that have been spilled right um so it leads me to believe you already identified this devil as well and i even was speaking as such where you acknowledge this devil that was in your life and so it almost gives me the sense uh pisces of where it's just like you acknowledge what it is that you need to do with something that just isn't for for you anymore and now you kind of have to make the hard decision on doing it right maybe some of you guys are in your head though about being unsure about if it's like the right thing maybe you guys are thinking it's just like oh am i being like too irrational with this am i not being realistic you know insert whatever like limiting excuse that you want to use that or that you want to use or like maybe that you're just used to being told right maybe you're just so used to um the narrative of something not working out for you or maybe you've always just been told that like you're the one that uh, like you're used to being the one that sabotages things in your life. So for you to acknowledge that something else is being actively sabotaging you in your life, it's kind of hard for you to just like digest that it feels. And so then we get into your star card. The star card here, uh, I already talked about the details of it, but also Archangel Jophiel. Uh, this is an archangel that's calling to you this week. So if you are open to working with archangels, this is the one, right? And whatever you practice, whatever it is you do and believe in is your business, not mine. I just let you know what, uh, I let you know your options, Pisces. This card, though, is a really good card. Uh, this card says make uh, happy times, make positive, optimistic, long-term plans, uh, and just an affirmation that you're on the right path. So this is the sign that my Pisces probably have been waiting for on being like, on how to deal with that devil, right? And I want to just clarify, like, just because it's the devil card, uh, I don't like villainizing any type of energy just because I feel like we're all just trying to do our best, right? I don't feel like there's anything just truly just bad. Some things, some situations just are not meant for one another. Some personalities just don't mesh with one another. Um, and so... I feel like it's in this situation here you are waiting for the star card sign of where it's just like this is the right choice of what you need to do it's almost like you are waiting for something outside of yourself to let you know that it's okay to make this decision and let you know you're you're like waiting for outside affirmation it feels pisces so the cards i pulled for you guys we have the lovers card coming in with the eight of cups no no this is six of cups not eight of cups honey uh, i don't have my glasses on pisces that's why as well as the three of swords so um yeah this is like with the lovers card this card talks about uh, the acknowledgement and needing to make a tough decision and kind of being at this place of almost like for a while, I feel like it implies, right? But it's partially because like, it's not so black and white, right? Because it's like, it, it's like, it's like, while it caused you pain, Pisces, right? While it's like, you can acknowledge like the cons of things, it's not so black and white or just being like, oh, this happened, so let me just cut this off, right? Because there's history here with the Six of Cups. You have a history with this individual, you have a history with this situation. That makes it a lot harder for you to be able to just be like oh yeah just done with it right even though you can you can acknowledge you've outgrown the situation you can acknowledge the, um 
how like this other thing would be better for you more beneficial and just allow you to grow more um you can also just acknowledge like you know just there's a sense of uh nostalgia uh with this you know there's a sense of comfort that you associate with this thing here you can associate you know like you, this is like a card of thinking about how the good times how you how things used to be that's the key word pisces of how things used to be just because something was of value or something was uh fulfilling you or providing you what you needed at the time in the past doesn't mean that's always going to be the case right i feel like you kind of need to remind yourself of that it's just like sometimes like some some situations just outgrow each other like truly i feel like it's one of those things that you kind of just come to terms with as you get older listen to me talk as if i'm like that old i'm only 25 honey um anyways pisces let's get into your next card you have the ace of air or the ace of swords for you so this is almost as if like the once you because i feel like once until you identify that devil card pisces i don't feel like you're going to really continue moving on right i don't feel like you're going to really allow yourself to and i don't feel like like i feel like that needs to be addressed before we go into the next chapter naturally right you can't just have it as a loose end you need to take care of those loose ends so once you do we have the ace of air this lets me know of like this kind of lets me know already as well pisces just to expose you a little bit more you kind of already have your heart kind of set on it as well as i was saying before you kind of were just waiting for a sign right with that star card um this lets me know again like your foot was kind of already out the door right uh, but you didn't want to be you didn't want to be the one to like i don't know like it just seems to me because like this lets me know you already had like a whole thing planned out for once you do so it's like it seems like your choice you're you already made your choice on what it is you want to do um because like it was already in your head right this card says brilliant new ideas and inspirations seeing the truth of a situation and a challenging beginning so yeah this is like where where it is you have and what it is you have in mind of before you want to go forward pisces so how many times can i just like <laughs> apparently that helps me speak let me pull some cards for this though all right so pisces we have the knight of oh no not the knight the king of pentacles the knight of cups with the the I didn't see this card either. Uh, with the devil card, honey. So really coming in here, what I was saying before, Pisces, you, you know, if you didn't believe in terror before, honey, like I feel like at this point, I mean, you watched me shuffle them. It wasn't like I was trying to talk about the devil and really trying to nitpick the devil coming out. Truly, I feel like it's almost like this devil has been blocking you from really obtaining any type of stability right allowing you to entertain anything new coming into your life because this devil has just served as like um the metaphorical dam for you and your river right to allow things to just flow smoothly not saying pisces you haven't continued moving forward with things obviously with that ace of swords there um there has been some type of progression right but now it's just like it's just really honing in in the message where it's just like you need to tie up this loose end, Pisces. You can't allow this situation to be on the back burner anymore. You kind of acknowledge it. Maybe you've tried to allow this to just to ride it out for a while now. But, um, you know, at this point, the ball is in your court because you have the Knight of Cups with the King of Pentacles. This is the essential. This is the energy of like what's like from like once you remove that blockage pisces you know this is what comes in the opportunity that brings forth a lot of stability whether this knight of cups is a literal sense of a person or whether this knight of cups the cups representing um opportunity right whatever this is right whether it's a person opportunity what have you uh pisces then you have the king of pentacles here letting you know like what it brings forth which is that stability right which really like allows you to sink your roots into something that's very sure and just very steady 
So, um, yeah, it's just like, but you need to tie this like loose end here. You have ideas on like how you want to make your life a lot more stable, Pisces, but you still need to like, it doesn't matter your intentions, as I was saying, until you address this double. So talk about all that, right? Continuing on though, Pisces, we have the Knight of Air for you or the Knight of Swords. Right, this is a, a really good night to have because you have it paired with the Knight of Cups. So I feel like this is almost signifying continuing on of like what would be coming for you, right? And like the speed of that thing, of that opportunity, of that person, Pisces. And so the Knight of Swords is like arguably the fastest moving knight out of all of them. But it also is like this one that could be the most easily influenced. Uh, so let me read off the card. This card says, events that occur with great speed, take time to carefully review your options and create a solution, right? Theme of creativity as well, right? Because your Ace of Swords or Ace of Air spoke of it as well, Pisces. So there is just this, you know, for those that are speaking about a job, it's definitely for speaking a message for those that are trying to be self-employed or do like incorporate something more creative into their life now or allowing something more creative into their life happening um but let's see here what deck do we want to use we'll use this one let's see what extra cards we can get for this pisces Alrighty. so we have the page of cups with the world card and the what is this the death card, Ooh, honey. <laughs> yeah, so the death card is like tying up that loose end with the world card talking about cycles, right? And then you closing off this old cycle, which, you know, could be like, you know, let's shoot out narratives that this could be, right? That that devil has been consistently following you for that really has been blocking, playing such a big role in like stopping you from allowing yourself just to do more with your life. Um, it could be like an ex energy it could be like an old job it could be like you choosing to stay living at a place that just hasn't been that pleasant to save money and now you're choosing to like let that go and take that leap right whatever it is this final thing that you needed to remove pisces is the page of cups coming in bringing forth that blessing of what it is you've been working so hard for um so read in between the lines of tarot even though i don't feel like you need to really read too much in between the lines honey at this point because i feel like the uh, message is clear and that you know for those pisces that have been waiting for their, their sign of taking that risk or taking that taking action on something allow this reading to be that sign for you Pisces but um that's the reading that I have for you this week Pisces if you enjoyed this tarot reading remember to let me know in the comments below which cards resonated with you and how uh get, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe and as well Pisces I do readings for all the zodiac signs not just Pisces so if you have a friend that's into tarot uh even or even if they're not uh send them one of my videos and maybe they can find a tarot message that resonates with them Till next time Pisces I love you so much